I saw this post from a femininity coach and you know how I feel about femininity coaches. If you don't, I just feel like femininity coaching is a scam because you're naturally feminine. You're born with femininity and all femininity coaches are teaching you is how to be more appealing to men and men's definition of what femininity is. When women aren't acting in accordance to what men want us to be, they classify that as masculine. So if you are not doing something that a man approves of, a femininity coach will tell you, ma'am, that's not feminine, that's masculine energy. That's what I don't like. So she posed this and I was like, because here's my thing. Sometimes we attract men who want something from us or we have characteristics that they want. Narcissists do it all of the time. They try to drain you, they're energy vampires. But the men that you attract is basically a mirror of who you are deep inside doesn't apply to every woman. Like you could look at a man that you're dating and he's a liar and a cheater and you don't lie and you don't cheat. So how could you have attracted this man to you? And it's because sometimes you're gonna meet men who want something from you that they wish they had, characteristics. I think that it's a poisonous message to teach women that because it makes women internalize everything that someone else is doing. Now we could talk about the law of attraction and energy and metaphysics and spirituality and how you bring in who you attract because people like to fling that around a lot, misunderstanding what metaphysics is really about. When you say to the universe over and over and over again, I don't want a man that cheats. 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 Guess what the universe is going to keep bringing you? a man that cheats because you keep focusing on the fact that you don't want a man who cheats but if you go to the universe and say oh i have a man who loves me oh i have a man that's loyal you have to focus on the kind of person that you want not the kind of person that you are trying to avoid that's how the universe works so when people say you attract what you are and the world is a mirror yeah in that aspect though it's like if you want to change what you are viewing, you don't wipe the mirror to change what you are experiencing. You change your energy, you change your thought process, and it changes what happens in the mirror. Now, what she's saying might apply to some toxicas out there because, you know, a toxica attracts more toxic men because some of the toxic traits that men have can be appealing to somebody who's a toxica themselves. So she could be speaking from that perspective, but that does not apply to all women. We are all different. We are all diverse. We all come from different backgrounds and have had different experiences. So you can't apply everything that you're hearing and seeing to your life.